come to Jamaica, the island of real bad man Some real dog at you throw some real gang bang No run for the fair, the knock your bitch man. Step up! These are the moments oh. When everybody gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense no matter what These are the moments When every gangsta gun loaded We not instigate violence But we believe in the self-defense Welcome to True Island Stories This is our part 5 of the epic uh, series uh, Rise and Fall of the GCT Gang Now if you miss part 4 I implore you Do check that out as to get caught up If you're just joining the channel Now before we begin We want to say This video is being sponsored By uh, Militant Shipping and Courier Couriers with Militancy Ship like a boss if you're in America, anywhere in the world and you want to ship your stuff to Jamaica or wherever, call 876-856-9854. Shop and ship militantly like a boss. That's 876-856-9854. And tell him, say, Guru Menke sent ya. And believe me, you will get a discount as we continue this epic story now we left off where weenie was brutally dirted because he was at the wrong place at the wrong time he never saw it coming and they dirted him he slumped where he sat and believe me he wasn't a bad kid he was a flasser a dancer and maybe if he was alive squash wouldn't you know i mean his life would turn out totally different but sometime we can't even question Father God or, you know, what is to be must be. You know what I mean? So R.I.P. Weenie, wherever you're there. But after Weenie's passing, it was felt in and around the community where Squashman and G-Man live. Now damage led an all-out attack in a house where five occupants were holding up at 4 a.m. in reprisal. Yes, he led that attack. They were there all unconcerned of the imminent danger looming at their doorstep. Their doors kicked in. Boom! 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 Four were hit on the spot and one ran. <laughs> yeah, I know I said four, but in actuality, there were five. And the fifth one ran outside, but was chased by damage who caught him in the yard. Boom! Boom! Two in his back, throwing him to the floor. Boof! Damaged the demon. Walked over to him. Slow. Changing his clips on approach, dropping the magazine, and reloading while singing slowly in the wee hours of the morning. Bringing in the sheep, bringing in the sheep, we shall all rejoice in bringing in the sheep. And damage pointed his muzzle at the head of his ops on the ground while watching him thrillingly as he laid on his back putting both hands upwards in the air begging for his life profusely please please your boss don't kill me you know I've nothing to do with it Come. damage squeeze off one more in his chest and then bend down over his ups and lifted his shirt examining his incised wounds beneath Say, damn son, looks like you bleeding heavy. And I ain't gonna lie, it don't look like you gonna make it. And if I'm gonna be totally honest, <laughs> kissing his teeth annoyingly, then damage shoved the hot steamy muzzle directly into the wound of the pilgrim chest. <laughs> it was as if he was frying eggs on his chest. Then damage pulled a pack of cigarettes from his pockets and pulled one out and lit it. Say, yo, you want one? I guess not. You don't want no smoke, huh? Damage emptied the entire 17 from his clip in his chest, sending his ups on the way to the devil's bosom. But not before dragging him back to the house where the rest of their ups were. They then pile up all the corpses on top of each other and gasoline them before sparking up a lighter, lighting them. Then a pilgrim shouted out the blow, My lad, I know my lighter that I use do the damage, damage. Damage gave him a terrible side eye, as if saying, One more word, just one more word out of your stomach. 
thinking he thought I see you in a giant pile. <coughs> the pilgrim took the hint, hook, line, and sinker, and immediately mummed his word and parapinted his game because he knew off top that he damaged the savage wasn't the one to be messed with. His thought process was very unorthodox and he had a hair trigger temper. Act with him if you want to. Ha! I thought so. All stood watching while the house burned flat to ashes. Smoke billowing in the morning lit sky as the toxic fumes inundated the hellish landscape. At that time, G-Man was say around eight, nine years old, but he was already entrapped into the waiting lifestyle of a top demon. The devil's throne awaited him in the near future. And best believe he would do everything toxic to justify his inheritance. Leaving a wake of carnage in his youthful, evil hubris. But G-Man could fell terribly, terribly at the hands of a storied venom cop named Steve. Okay. I want you to listen to this and uh, this is for the Montagonians and please identify in the comment if you knew of this knockings or if you know this pilgrim. Okay, the Western Bureau states a section of a downtown Montego Bay St. James was transformed into a shooting gallery after 11.30 a.m. Yesterday, heavily armed thugs brandished high-powered weapons and assassinated a man along the heavily traversed Queen's Drive. He was on his way from the Montego Bay Parish Court. While we don't have all the details at this time, we can confirm that the man who was dirted is a Stephen Elvis Malcolm of a Canterbury address in Montego Bay, said Senior Superintendent of Police, Mr. Morlan Nesbeth, the commanding officer for St. James at the time. We also know that he was before the court on a gun-related charges. According to reports, shortly after being granted a bail extension at the court building, the 24-year-old Malcolm entered a car which drove towards the top of Howard Cook Boulevard. After going through the traffic light at the entrance of Queens Drive in proximity to the Mount Alverney Preparatory Schools. Two cars reported to block the path of the car in which he was traveling. Some man with long rifles believed to be AK-47s and M16s jump out of the car and started turning on fire on the other car. Other people jump out them car and start to run. Some even crash. Ah, boom! Holy things go on, said a woman who claimed to witness the incident. They man them jump back into them car and just drive for vroom. In the aftermath of the knockings, there were significant traffic pileups all over the city, especially in and around Queen's Drive. I saw the whole thing, said a company executive, who asked not to be named. It was like I was watching a movie, only that it was real. It is the first time I've ever witnessed anything like this. Even when it was over, I was still trembling. According to other eyewitnesses, following the knock-ins, relatives of the slain man who were still outside the courthouse, which is less than 100 yards from where the incident took place, rushed to the scene and placed Malcolm in a vehicle which sped off in the direction of the Cornwall Regional Hospital. It's a dead man that them pick up. You know, since I shot take him all off my body, ah, harm to them. Then can't throw him over them shoulder and walk with him. I'm dumb dead already, brother. I used to say him them come for two the man them come for him. Neat, brother. You know, she said them black in the two car, them him couldn't escape, brother. Him couldn't escape, him now know we are gonna be a young right for the man them come out in and knock it from two sides. When I time to see how I'm empty, I clip and fold it up and start. Why I that the vehicle, brother, that mistake? Uh, let me behind the wall and still so I watch a dog, me see everything. Me see everything, brother. I strain them strain up the dog. Where my rush to the hospital, I go over and say, okay, hey, I'm 16, why right? lick him? Oh, what can I live this? I just a dead man that. Oh, no, can I stay there? Malcolm's death, which lifted the count in St. James at that time in 2017 to 168 since the start of the year, comes ahead of a new anti-crime plan that the St. James Police hierarchy was planning to roll out shortly. We are planning to roll out a new crime fighting plan any day now because we are deeply concerned about the crime situation, said Nesbeth. While things are not looking good at this time, we have been getting some success in terms of arresting wanted men and seizing illegal activities. Tell me, from 2017 till even now, I don't think that that plan worked. Do you? The color has spoken! 
we're gonna leave it here that was just to show you the nature of what was going on at that time young land style executions pull up on car blocking and if anybody know who that was or if you know of that knockings please leave it in the comment section so the other readers can you know visit it and know what go on all right until next time what good still touch trouble but if you choose because they're gonna have the knife then there's a chance you might in eventual in stories what what will you choose and please remember this video was sponsored by militant shipping the number is right in front of you so you can just look at it anyway you are ship come jamaica mostly if you are ship come a foreign militant shipping all right i am joy Peppa. You know the real J Tenga, huh? How we grow up? Sometimes the road tough side slow. <laughs> real patriots never buck, never fall. Oh, yeah. How they get to run? That's why. Buck from the boy, who no do that? Who? Uh -huh. Who no can kill with Jai? Who no boy? Who from your so don't know what wrong boy? Yo, eh. And a man bust a shot him off a pack up and go Mind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that nah. <laughs> No assumption, I saw the ground run yeah. Power, marital corruption Criminal, bread from limited options Ten generation, I see the said song One one head man will live long Name one, don't so ever bury with no dan Name one, and good and his politician Name one, get a youth, resilient Back from the boy, I wanna do that. Boy, who no can tell me jai? Who no boy? Who from your side? Don't know what wrong boy. Yo, yo, now a man better boy. Any man bust a shot, him off a back up and go. Bind it on him head back and go. Pop off him strap and him friend him for do. None of that, yo a man better. Things risky, for the misfit. Death rate fit the logistic. Chris, Chris, ha, I want the biscuit. Be a tough crackers when we whisk it uh, You're not listening Crime live here so it's not visiting Visitors careful, they know what the business is Murder, plunder, pillage in who? Blood shedding on the villages You name it, you will live in it Get rich, I do a special delivery Nightmare Tormented the images, vengeance Blood the cycle continuing but No you seek that but it's no revenge Looking at the mirror there is no different Man we full of hey. How we know we trends back from the boy who no do that? Who? Uh. Who no can tell we jaw? Who no boy? Uh. Who from your so we don't know who are and who? Uh. Yup, now a man better uh. When a man does not shut him off a back up and who? Mind it on him head back and who? Uh. Pop off him strap on him friend him for do None of that you are man better No assumption, I saw the ground run Power, marital corruption Criminal, red from limited options Ten generation, passing the set song One one head man will live along Name one, one. him so fall out with the no. oh, Name one, one honest politician Name one who And get to you resilient Fuck from the boy who no do that Who can't kill with child on the back who from your soul don't know what wrong boy eh? Yo, yo a man better boy Any hey, man bust a shot him off a back up and go Bind it on him head back and go Pop off him strap on him friend him to do it eh? No, 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 Yo, you know the thing going up, suck a seat up a big thing you know? Hey man, take your time man Go on man Go on man Go on to them purple